Welcome back, everybody. Come see us, by the way. Go to eventbrite.com and search for The Jason Show. Well, welcome back. It's been a while since I've been able to say this. Uh, time to hear from you. Leo, open up the mailbag. Here we go, everybody. You've got me. Well, as I alluded to at the top of the show, we got a ton of comments uh, <laughs> regarding our brand new home and season 10 launch. Let's, uh, let's lead with the positive, shall we? Linda says, uh, so happy for you. The opening video made me cry while sitting at Caribou Coffee. Uh, <laughs> you uh, all deserve the success. Such talent, kindness, and charisma. Thank you, sweetheart. Love the set, especially the curtain. <laughs> Teresa, thank you. Uh, Teresa wrote, oh my God, I just cried over a man walking out from a curtain. <laughs> Bless you with pixie dust, Jason. And Bre oh, that's, I love that. And Brittany says she had instant chills. So exciting. I scheduled my hair appointment uh, around the premiere and felt all the feels. Cheers to season 10 and an absolutely beautiful set. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. I'll that says a lot because to get in with my hair girl, I have to book her like three months out. So I know. the fact that she booked that around that was amazing. I know. Yeah. yeah. Because you have to, yeah, how many, six months out probably? Like three, unless oh I'm lucky God. and find a weird opening where yeah. someone canceled, you know, yeah. Well, with the, uh, I know, with the good, oh, do, are these the bad ones? Oh, the ones? These are more good ones, Chef? Okay. <laughs> okay. A few more positive ones, friends. <laughs> To brace us. To brace us yeah. <laughs> about our new digs. Let's look at the next one here. Jane says, I just watched the show after work. I love, love, love the new set. I've been in the audience several times and it looks so nice. I love the colors. And William says, uh, hi, William. Your arm gestures and perfect delivery were like Letterman. Uh, oh, wow. Well, you can't tell me a bigger compliment. And uh, congratulations on a spectacular new set and show. Thank you, William. Now the negative ones? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, Fallon, you may need a Diet Coke. All right there, there we go. Thank you. Let me crack a yeah. cold one. If people ever wondered, we have a wet bar under here. That's right, right here. Okay, as we expected, as we expected, not everyone uh, would be so enthusiastic about uh, change in general. Cindy says, quite simply, I don't like it. I don't like the new set. It looks like a late night show. I like the old set, which was different from other shows. Uh, okay, fine, Lynn. Oh, Cindy, you know what, Cindy? That's fine, that's fine. Uh, Michael, Michael, lose the oversized purple curtain. It's too over the top. Maybe make the curtain smaller. I watch your show every day, and I don't want to see your show turn into some gaudy spectacle. Thank Too you, late. row one. Too late. Uh, Leo, take camera five. Too damn late. <laughs> but you know what? My feeling is uh, you got to turn uh, lemons into lemon pound cake, uh, chicken poop into chicken salad. So we're going to lean in. We're going to lean into this. Hey, Thomas, go, ho uh, go ahead and open our garish spectacle of a curtain. <laughs> right there. Gaudy spectacle, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching, Michael. Yeah. By the way, Fox legally changed the name of the show to Gaudy Spectacle. Yeah. <laughs> One more, uh, one more critique. This email came from Nancy. The new show was a lot of change all at once. I miss the hominess of the other show. Oh, okay, it's the same damn show. Anyway, this one is really slick. It doesn't even have a spoon anymore. And where is the marmot? Now, let me, if people are confused, if, if you're new to us, you're like, what are they talking about? Well, I have the hot dish spoon. I mm -hmm. brought that back. And then people asked, we used to have a rodent behind Fallon <laughs> uh, in Fallon's close-up. And before her, Kendall's close-up, yep. we couldn't find the damn thing for, for weeks. Cut 
Jeff rooting through the dumpster out back and found it. I so, know. Yeah, we're set. Fallon, will you hold the creature? I would love to. There we go. Oh, I got yeah. a pillow. You got a pillow now. <laughs> I can I just really quickly, you know, uh, you, you never explain, never complain, I think is the phrase. Let me just tell you, just d d don't worry about us. Go live your life. Go hug somebody. Uh, it's just <laughs> it's just a silly set. Uh, don't worry about it. No, also, so can I also just assure you, everything was done with intention. Uh, like the curtain, I'll just take this as an example. The curtain is purple for a reason. It's a love letter to my grandma, Mazak, who loved purple and lavender. It's also because we're based in the Twin Cities and purple is kind of our color. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and I know the people saying, oh, it looks like a late night show. No, the, the intention, well, kind of, but the intention was, yeah, I love Johnny Carson, but also I'm a child of daytime television and I'm talking the Rosie O'Donnell show and Mike Douglas and, and, and uh, Merv Griffin who had a, had a desk and a couch and a curtain. It's an homage to all of those, a little comfort food, if you will. So if you're wondering why we did this or that, just know there was a lot of thought behind it and a lot of people worked very hard and I'm proud of each one of them and I won't let anyone hijack my joy. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>